Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what are the things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutors feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au. Register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. To reduce pollution, it is essential that the town center becomes a car-free zone. A ring road should be built so that cars are diverted away from the town center. The main shopping streets could be converted into a pedestrianized area. If trees and flowers are planted, the town center will be transformed into a quiet and green space where residents can enjoy shopping and walking in a healthy environment. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand.
The starry sky on a clear, dark night is the most beautiful sight that nature has to offer. The night sky has always been a source of wonder for people throughout history because it is silent, timeless, and studded with constellations from myth and legend. This wonder transports our thoughts beyond Earth and the pace of the current day to infinity and the cosmos. There is constant discussion about the merits and drawbacks of globalization. The negative effects of globalization can be evident in the higher risk of disease transmission. Of course, globalization has also produced a lot of good. Richer countries can now help poorer countries in need. In many nations, Increasing diversity has increased opportunities to appreciate and learn about various cultures. A large range of plantings are united by the superb structure of mature trees to create a secluded implants ambiance that inspires visitors in all seasons. The emergence of new leaves and blooms on the trees as well as the blooming of flowers in the understory of woodlands and bulb meadows, are signs of spring in the garden.
In addition to all that they share, newborns also exhibit distinctive personal characteristics. Some people are more social, more active, and more engaged in their surroundings than others. Early character traits of infants include consistent variances in friendliness and anxiety level. Regular exercise releases brain chemicals key for memory, concentration, and mental sharpness at the same time as lifting your mood, and lowering stress and anxiety all of which contribute to brain health. Studies show that regular exercise helps you manage complex tasks, organize and razor sharpen your focus which is great for those long revision sessions or particularly complex exam questions. Each of the university's six schools and colleges admits applicants to its own programs because our graduate admissions office is decentralized. Visit the websites of the various schools to learn more about specific program degrees, graduate applications, graduate admission standards and procedures, graduate scholarships, and the status of your application.
It was created by ten distinguished professors and updated to reflect changes in sociological thought during the previous five years, making it the most thorough, authoritative, and up-to-date dictionary accessible. It was required reading for all sociology students, instructors, and general readers, as well as for those taking related courses. The southern Australian continent's coastal regions fertile soil and temperate climate are ideal for the introduction of new species. The settlers greatly benefited from this feature and extensively cultivated the most beneficial fruit trees and vegetables in Europe. Fast charging is essential for the success of electric vehicles. Because drivers are more at ease knowing they can quickly recharge, fast charging makes electric cars more usable by removing range anxiety. Owners of fast charging capable vehicles who have a sufficient number of fast charging stations nearby appear to feel comfortable traveling further.
In a genuine republic the will of the government is dependent on the will of the society, and the will of the society is dependent on the reason of the society. In Federalist 51, for example, James Madison claimed that the extent and structure of the government of the United States on the will of the society. Some of the most crucial AI tools are neural networks. They currently function as adaptable software running on conventional processors, but researchers are working on a different idea called a neuromorphic computer. In this instance, hardware components are used to reconstruct neurons rather than using software to simulate them. Targeted magnetic waves are created and separated into micrometer sized wafers. It used to appear rather simple to designate English as a separate subject. The language used in the text was carefully chosen, evaluated, and then put to extensive practice. The introduction of new objects was carefully managed to make it easy for the pupil to adjust. But everything has changed now that training is conducted in English.
Energy is a necessity for human existence. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that the way in which people have been generating energy is substantially to blame for the current environmental issues. There are many different types of pollution, but those that affect human health the most are those produced by the burning of fuels in vehicles and power plants. As a historian, you must be like a novelist and put yourself in the shoes of your characters in order to truly grasp the emotions and sensibilities of individuals who lived in the past. Asking the kinds of questions that a peasant could ask will require you to put yourself in the shoes of a medieval peasant. The author is arguing that a historian must have creative empathy for common people in the past. The fastest growing waste stream in the world right now is e-waste. In 2018, it is predicted to have surpassed 50 million tons. Only 25% of e-waste is properly handled by society globally. There is little information on what happens to the remainder, which is typically disposed of by unofficial employees or at landfills in subpar conditions.
There are probably three different ways to look at furniture. Some regard it as strictly functional and necessary and don't worry about aesthetics. Others see it as a necessity for civilized living and worry about design and how the furniture will appear in a room. Still others see furniture as a work of art. The Global Migration Compact is the first global framework to be negotiated in all its dimensions on a common approach to international migration. It is the product of an intensive process of negotiations providing a strong platform for cooperation on migration now and into the future. It draws on best practices and international law to make migration safe and positive for all. In Honduras, a child under the age of 18 perishes as a result of violence every day. This amount is astounding for a nation not actively engaged in hostilities. Numerous children and families are being forced to depart their homes due to violence, poverty, and a lack of educational options, putting them at danger of abuse, exploitation, and violence.
the tsunamis might reveal vital details regarding whether ancient Mars was able to support life. As it returned to the sea, the first one carved out backwash channels, indicating that it took place when the planet must have been reasonably warm and conducive to life. By the time the second tsunami hit, however, the planet had cooled considerably, and the water had evidently flash frozen after flowing to the surface. Boys and girls need to be well nourished and educated, women need to be truly empowered, rural infrastructure must be strengthened in order to meet the zero hunger goal. Programs that make community resilient and more stable will also reduce the number of hungry people. World leaders need to help resolve these conflicts right now. The English Revolution can be interpreted in three different ways. The most persistent theory is that the revolution was a nearly inevitable result of a long-standing conflict between the Parliament and the Crown. A class conflict and a prelude to the French and other revolutions, according to the second theory.
For office professionals, working from home is typically a simple process. It's really simple to use computers at home if you use them at work. You can save a lot of money each year only on fuel prices. Additionally, it enables you to better balance your personal and professional obligations. According to a new analysis, studies supported by the soft drink industry are more likely to hide connections to type 2 diabetes and obesity. He continued by saying that biases in research funded by industry were typically not caused by bad technique but rather by inherent flaws in their design, such as poor choice of comparators and issues with data analysis and reporting. The Energy Transition Index evaluates 115 nations' current levels of energy system performance as well as the macro environment's readiness for the transition to a future, secure, cheap, and inclusive energy system. It enables enterprises and governments to pinpoint the energy transition's endpoint, pinpoint imperatives, and coordinate market and policy enablers appropriately.
Rees attempted to resolve the debate by doing a meta-analysis, or study of research, to determine whether or not people can actually perceive sound that is better than CD quality. Approximately 13,000 hearing tests and more than 400 subjects from 18 research were included in his analysis. Overall, listeners chose the better than CD track 52.3% of the time, which is statistically significant but not particularly spectacular. Although there is growing interest in sustainable financing, the shift to a sustainable economy is not taking place at the necessary pace. The multilateral system is under pressure as systemic dangers rise at the same time. According to experts, this dilemma offers a chance to reconsider the international institutional framework for sustainable development. One hundred and sixty adults who drank no more than five hundred milligrams of caffeine per week were recruited by the researchers as uncaffeinated subjects. Following the viewing of images of various items, these decaf participants either consumed a placebo or a capsule containing two hundred milligrams of caffeine. You could get about that much from two cups of coffee.
The young man who has acquired the appropriate business instruction is fortunate. He will become a more effective worker as a result of this training, regardless of his profession or job. Many young people have seniors who are willing to share their wisdom and expertise with them. Others benefited from their entry into high-caliber firms. The speaker is a marine biologist who became intrigued by the ancient coastal inhabitants known as strandlopers because of their ties to the water. He was captivated by their manner of life. He had spent a lot of time as a boy playing and exploring by the water, so he started to learn about them. He learned several intriguing facts about their way of life, like how they hunted what equipment they used, and other things. The origins of the avocado lie in Central and South America. The avocado's thick, creamy, velvety texture and mild flavor are to thank for its appeal. There are numerous avocado kinds, each with a different size, color, and texture. When the fruit is harvested, the flesh softens to a buttery consistency that is incredibly popular as a topping for everything from toast to desserts.
A crucial component of any business planning is market research. If you are considering introducing a service to a new location, it is crucial to first find out what the local community thinks about it. Regardless of how skilled you or your team may be in a certain subject. When pineapple plants set their fruit, they typically need even more water to continue growing. Then, water them frequently, making sure to get all of their leaves. They should therefore be handled with more care because too much water would hinder the ripening process and result in the fruit being watery, translucent, and having a poorer flavor and scent. Calcium plays an extremely important role in the production of plant tissues and enables plants to grow better. It is responsible for keeping the cell walls of plants together. It is also crucial in activating signals that coordinate certain cellular activities. Calcium also increases the resistance to external attacks and increases the feed value of forage crops to livestock.
The amount to which judges rely on internal knowledge that already exists or place more emphasis on external information that is newly available may also be influenced by moods. Positive emotions encourage more bottom-up, stimulus-driven processing. The biggest mammal currently alive is the blue whale. Although the greatest length and weight reported vary from story to account, it is known that Antarctic blue whales could grow up to 100 feet long and weigh more than 150 tons until whaling operations severely decimated the population. Blue whales in the North Atlantic can grow to lengths of 80 to 85 feet. Trying to comprehend everything in its whole form can leave you feeling overwhelmed and helpless. Flexible thinking is a skill that you can master through practice rather than via rigorous study. Create and adhere to a practical study plan. Keep in mind that the examiners are checking your knowledge of a limited and manageable quantity of material.
certain types of methodology are more suitable for some research projects than others. For example, the use of questionnaires and surveys is more suitable for quantitative research whereas interviews and focus groups are more often used for qualitative research purposes. Neither golden eagles nor bald eagles are endangered species. The U.S. bald eagle population has more than quadrupled since 2009, from around 72,000 to 317,000 birds. But the U.S. golden eagle population is still relatively small around 30,000 birds and at risk of declining. The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next.
The advantage of the great European and American orchestras is that they were able to establish their iconic status in an age when their identity could become entrenched. There was less competition and it was easier to create a brand. Not only did they have the best halls, they attracted the best musicians, who tended to stay put. Children as young as 14 months old will spontaneously help others for no reward. But a study of three to five year olds found that, although they would spontaneously draw pictures, if they were given a reward for drawing pictures, then later they wouldn't make any drawings unless a reward was offered. Australian scientists say they have developed pain-free blood sugar testing for diabetics, a non-invasive strip that checks glucose levels via saliva for diabetics. Managing their blood sugar levels typically means pricking their fingers multiple times a day with a lancet and then placing a drop of blood on a testing strip.
line engraving on metal, which, to a great extent, was a development of the goldsmith's craft of ornamenting armor and precious metals, did not emerge as a print-making technique until well into the 15th century. Copper, the metal mainly used for engraving, was expensive, and engraving itself was laborious and took a long time. In Abu Dhabi, where fresh water sources are very limited, sustainable water management is a high priority. The region receives on average just 120 mm of rainfall every year but the country is seeing demand for water increase by almost 40% annually. In this situation, it is clear that Abu Dhabi needs to boost the efficiency of water use by increasing water recycling. Welfare has a special political meaning to the United States because it refers to how the poor receives financial aid. In comparison, welfare services are regarded as a universal right in other regions like Europe, where it is believed that all citizens should be able to obtain a minimal level of social support and well-being.
unions take the power out of the employer's hands on many issues. There are examples of cases where workers were engaging in sexual or racial harassment, but were protected by their unions and allowed to keep their jobs. Poor workers and excellent workers often receive the same pay and raises, giving no reason for a person to work harder than necessary at their job. Trade unions originated in Europe during the Industrial Revolution. Because of the machinery that had become commonplace, skilled labor became less in demand so employers had nearly all of the bargaining power. Employers mistreated the workers and paid them too little for the work they did. Trade unions were organized that would help in the improvement of working conditions. Unlike the United Kingdom, which has taken a relatively restrictive approach to the possession of arms, the United States has taken a more lenient approach. In the United States, three models have evolved regarding the interpretation of the meaning of the right to bear and keep arms as delineated in the Second Amendment.
free trade is an economic policy under which the government does not interfere with trade. No tariffs are applied to imports or exports, and people are allowed to trade goods and services as they please. Supply and demand dictates the prices for which goods and services sell and are the only factors that determine how resources are allocated in society. The border itself between Mexico and United States is fraught with a mix of urban and desert terrain and spans over 1,900 miles. Both the uninhabited areas of the border and urban areas are where the most drug trafficking and illegal crossings take place. Crime is prevalent in urban cities like El Paso, Texas and San Diego, California. As far as politics go, the responses are just as varied. Mitigation is common and calls for a reduction of emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels. Coal-burning power plants are now replaced with hydraulic power plants and electrical cars are replacing some gasoline-efficient cars. Many people, however, feel that this is not enough.
Global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. In the photo, the wild cat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep in which Chappelle was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing her muzzle into the back window. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate.
any writer must decide upon an order and a structure for a book in keeping with the reflexive nature of the work. There are strong currents of reiteration in the book, with each iteration developing understandings of research, theory, and practice as the story continues to unfold. Symptoms of depression decrease with improvements in sense of smell, particularly among patients with dysosmia. New research published in the journal Scientific Reports highlights the intricate relationship between depression and sense of smell. The study found that participants' symptoms of depression dropped as their odor identification improved, particularly among those with an impaired sense of smell. The classic era of Mayan came to an end around 900 AD. Why this happened is unclear. The cities were probably over farming the land, so that a period of drought led to famine. Recent geological research supports this, as there appears to have been a 200-year drought around this time.
Our major conclusion is that the current measure needs to be revised. It no longer provides an accurate picture of the differences in the extent of economic poverty among population groups or geographic areas of the country nor an accurate picture of trends over time. An industry or workplace often has its own terms for certain items, places, or groups of people, and university is no different. Here we have attempted to explain some of the terms you may come across on our websites that are specific to higher education. The noise restrictions are based on measurements on animals in captivity exposed to noise levels that induce a temporary threshold shift, TTS, in hearing. The TTS onset threshold is the lowest noise exposure capable of inducing a small temporary reduction of hearing sensitivity, also known as auditory fatigue, with full recovery shortly after exposure.
Our information office on campus provided resource and support to help you make the right choices about childcare whether you're a student, staff, or member of the local community. The office provides information about the five centers closest to our campuses, relevant government agency, and other daycare center in the surrounding areas. We understand that not everyone can put their job and other responsibilities on hold to study. That's why our healthcare ethics and law master's courses are available to study by distance learning, so you can fit gaining an academic qualification around your work and family. In Brazil, it is unlawful to chop down a Brazil nut tree. Thus, they can be found outside manufacturing plants, homes and on the sidewalks. The fruits are very heavy and rigid. When the fruits fall, they pose a serious threat to vehicles and people passing under the tree. Brazil nut fruits sink in fresh water, which can cause clogging of waterways.
buying directly from farmers at markets allows you to understand the processes that make up food systems, gives you insight into the seasons and the land, and creates a connection between you and the people who grow your food. Small-scale farms can serve soil and important fields, meadows, and surrounding open spaces that are crucial to maintaining a healthy environment. Nearly anyone living in eastern North America, who has ventured beyond their porch, has had at least one unpleasant encounter with poison ivy. While best known for the irritating skin rash produced by contact with an oil in its leaves, poison ivy is also an important source of food and cover for wildlife. Pluto was one of the nine planets recognized to our solar system. But in 2021, it was relegated to the official status of dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union, IAU. It will bring into clear focus once more what is, and what isn't, meant by the term planet.
Permafrost is ground that is frozen year-round. In the Arctic, ice-rich permafrost soils can be up to 260 feet thick. Due to human-caused warming of the atmosphere from greenhouse gas emissions, a steady thawing of the permafrost is currently taking place where the upper layer of seasonally thawed soil is gradually getting thicker and reaching deeper into the ground. WHO has issued a public statement calling for the disclosure of results from clinical trials for medical products, whatever the result. The move aims to ensure that decisions related to the safety and efficacy of vaccines, drugs and medical devices for use by populations are supported by the best available evidence. Market research is vital part of the planning of any business. However, experienced you or your staff may be in a particular field. If you are thinking of introducing a service to a new area, it is important to find out what the local population thinks about it first.
Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed. By influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing. Rees took a stab at settling the argument with a meta-analysis. A study of studies on whether people can really perceive better than CD quality sound. He analyzed data from 18 studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 52.3% of the time. Researchers gathered 160 uncaffeinated adults, people who consumed less than 500 mg of caffeine a week. These decaf subjects looked at pictures of various objects, then took either a placebo or a pill containing 200 mg of caffeine. That's roughly the amount you'd get from two cups of coffee.
Studies funded by the soft drink industry are more likely to mask links to obesity and type 2 diabetes, according to a new report. He added that biases in industry-funded studies were not usually due to poor methodology, but due to inherent problems in their design, including poor choice of comparators and problems with the way data is analyzed and reported. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, you must be like a novelist and get into the skin of your characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times, asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room in other words. Function combined with aesthetics. And yet others see furniture as a form of art.
In the past naming English as a separate subject seemed relatively easy. The textbook selected and graded items of language which were put into content and then practices intensively. New items were carefully controlled so that the student could cope quite easily. Now that English is used as a medium of instruction, however, all this has changed. Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms. But those that are more concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. Water covers over two-thirds of the Earth's surface and constitutes almost 70% of our bodies. This profound organic association appears to trigger a quick reaction in our brains when we're close to water. Indeed, the mere sight and sound of water can incite a surge of neurochemicals that promote well-being and induce relaxation. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today. Thank you.